I'm out fishing on the kayak tomorrow and I've got an early start. That is if I can get myself up. So what I thought I would do is do the intro in the shed here today, let you know what the plan is, because what I want to do is get myself up, get down there, get loaded up, get out and, and just basically get on with the fish, get on with the fishing quickly. All right, so the plan is that I'm going to be fishing at anchor all day long. The only thing that will stop that is, is if the weather forecast is not like it's supposed to be or it changes and it may, it's either too, too lumpy to fish at anchor or, or it gets too lumpy and I might have to change. But the plan is to fish at anchor all day. And what I'm going to do is something that I, that I often do and like to do is, and that is fish mixed methods. I'm going to be doing a bit of bait fishing and a bit of lure fishing. And the reason for that is, is to try and maximise my chances of success, maximise my chances of catching something. So, for example, if it's sort of fishing a bait rod with bait hard on the bottom, and that, that's not doing very well, maybe I'll pick something up lure fishing. Or if the lure fishing is not doing very well, maybe I'll pick up something bait fishing. But hopefully, the idea is that both, both methods will will pick up fish will be successful. Okay, so we'll get out and we'll get the anchor down and I'm going to be fishing with one bait rod, just one bait rod. So for those of you beginners, those of you interested, I've got my usual seven foot six boat rod, 12 to 20 pound, six and a half thousand C multiplier loaded with 20 pound braid, fishing in deep water so the braid will help cut the tide better so I don't have to use so much weight and then 40 pound leader and then a very simple rig I've just got a straightforward running ledger got a boom to hold the lead and then a trace of about four foot of 40 pound clear amnesia and I'm going to be fishing two hooks a panel rig not very big hooks so these are two oh two 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 O hooks on a panel. And the bait I've got with me, going to take with me, is I've got some black lug and I've got some squid, some calamari squid. And I'm going to fish black lug tipped off with squid strips or the head of a calamari squid. Or I might just fish squid or might just fish black lug. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Now, what potentially I could catch is whiting. In fact, I'll be very surprised if I don't pick up whiting at this time of year. It's just going to be a case of whether I can pick up some decent sized whiting that are uh, to, to take home. So whiting. There's a possibility of codling. Sometimes there's a few cod around, sometimes there isn't, but there, there is a possibility at, at this time of year of codling. Fingers crossed that there is. Other things might pick up off of the bottom. Bull hus, could get bull hus, could pick up form back ray, dogfish of course and just about anything really that will take the, the that is there and take a bait off the bottom mackerel scad gurnard uh, depends what there what's there okay so we'll have a bait rod down and then i'm going to be doing something again because of the time of year and because i love to do it and because i like to eat them so much i'm going to put a squid rod down so I've got three squid jigs on a paternoster, standoff loops, all vertical fishing straight down. So paternoster, suitable size weight down the end. And the idea is lower this down, fish it close to the bottom, depending on where, where I think the squid might be. A couple of turns off the bottom or maybe up to, sometimes up to about 20 feet off the bottom. Lower that down pop it in the rod holder, leave it to fish itself with the up and down movement of the kayak. Those of you that have watched my squid fishing videos, I've done a few now in the past, uh, will, have seen, will have seen me do this and it's often a good way to catch them. So we'll have those two rods out. Now if I do get an indication that there's squid around, I've got another squid rod set up this time with two squid jigs on, which maybe I can manually work while the other rods are fishing. But also periodically, particularly if I see signs on the fish finder, I'm going to see if there's any mackerel around. I'm going to be fishing some mackerel, mackerel feathers. 
Now I'm going to be trying these for the first time tomorrow. These are DIY mackerel feathers made up of tubing, white tubing. Now, this is not my idea. This is, comes from Troy of Troy's Fishing in Guernsey. Got a channel, I'm sure many of you know it anyway, but Troy's a commercial day boat fisherman, puts pots out for the crabs and lobster, but does line fishing, rod and line fishing for mackerel, pollock and bass and other species. Now he's done a video about the DIY mackerel feathers that he uses, not just mackerel feathers, pollock feathers as well, that he uses for mackerel and pollock, made up of using, in his case, electrical, I believe I'm right, white electrical flex from, a, from electric, electric cable. Uses that, cuts it to size, pops it on a hook and makes up his feathers and uses this to, to, to great success for his mackerel or pollock. You always see him use it use it and and I thought I'm going to try this and the reason I wanted was keen to try it try it this year when I get an opportunity is for two reasons one I've got fed up buying fed up buying mackerel feathers I mean they, they don't last do they very long few trips you've got to buy some more the other thing is that of course that you can customize it to you to suit you however many you want want to put on in my case I find three is suitable whatever size size for your mackerel size for your pollock so a great a great idea great idea so what i've done is again based on based on troy troy's idea that i've seen on his videos i've not got electrical tube tubing but it's probably the same sort of thing i brought myself a few yards of this pvc tubing that you use to make diy gummy max the gummy max they use out in Norway uses a teaser, a flyer above a perk or a big soft plastic. For gummy mac for cod, pollock and coli. That's what that is for your DIY suit, suitable diameter, get different diameters. I brought some of that and the hook that I'm using is this. These are your gummy mac hooks. See how they're kinked? Instead of being straight, the idea is that when you put your tube in on, it's kinked. It's supposed to give it give it action. Brought that. These are the mustard mustad. They're not called gummy mac hooks. I don't think they're basically they're a, a mustad hook, specially made for for making up gummy mac. So that's what I'm using. So the idea is cut a bit of tube into the suitable size of what hook you're using or what you're fishing for, mackerel or pollock slice the end in half to give it more to give it more movement so the end result is for the mackerel is that can't come off see that notice how that's not straight it's kinked because of that gummy mac hook so it's thread over just over just over the eye as i said just slice the end a bit there so it gives it a bit of movement so that's what I've done but as usual I've got my jig which I always use now instead of a lead weight I've got a jig with a couple of assist hooks on which I make myself suitable size jig and that will pick up anything it will pick up mackerel sometimes sort finds the bigger mackerel if they're around it'll pick up whiting it'll pick up coddling bass I've even had squid squid on these anything really that, that's about we'll, we'll take the jig but as I said try these for the first time tomorrow but not my, not my idea the credit goes to Troy of Troy's fishing okay so that's basically it that's the plan so get myself up and uh, get out there and uh, next time you see me We'll be out fishing and uh, and probably probably get getting the rods down and fingers crossed. We'll get a few fish or at least at least get something using one of these methods or hopefully both both methods will will work tomorrow and both methods will will pick up something. And I'm really hoping, as I always do, because I love it so much. As I said, I'm really hoping that I manage to pick up at least least one squid but 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 we'll see
Okay, good. I made it. Managed to get myself up and it's literally just first light. So I've got the anchor down, dropped the anchor in the position I want to be. And the first thing I'm going to do is get the squid jigs down, get those down first and get those fishing straight away. Um, and then I'll get the bait ready and get a bait rod down. But uh, certainly a fantastic, fantastic morning. Pleasure to be out here. Definitely worth getting up, that's for sure. Just got to hope there's a, a few fish around and a, and a, and a, a mixed bag, but we'll see. All right, ready, for, ready to put the bait rod down. And as I mentioned, I've got some black lug and I've tipped it off with a, the head of a squid. We're on the ebb tide at the moment. In about an hour's time, it'll turn round and and start flooding in. And the plan is to to stay out here and fish fish all of the tide. I haven't seen any signs of mackerel on the finder. There's there's some signs of uh, what looks like probably pilchards down there, or maybe herring. I haven't seen any signs of mackerel, but we'll, as I said, periodically we'll give it give it a go. Um, f for the mackerel. Well, as you saw there, a couple of mackerel on these, so that's good, but they're just, just too, too small, so they, um, that's why they went back, but never mind, hopefully there'll be uh, one or two bigger, bigger mackerel around this morning. One on the one on the jig, and one on the one on the tubing. Too small, unfortunately. Whiting. Oh, looks like the the whiting have, have definitely turned up. Yeah, there's big patches down on the finder. A lot of bite there on the on the left hand side. It's just a case. There's, there's likely to be loads of whiting around. It's just a case if you can get them. Uh, get them a decent size that are worth keeping there's going to be a lot of those a lot of those small ones that uh, are just going to be too small
Ah, oh, that's better. That's better. There we go. Well, how about that? On the panel, a nice whiting and a scad. <laughs> Well, that was a good little session. A mackerel, followed by uh, that whiten and that, that scad, uh, two at once. Um, one of the reasons I only brought one bait rod today, if I got two bait rods down um, with, with the whiting down there, uh, particularly if you want to catch other fish like mackerel, so you want to do a, a bit of both. If I had two bait rods down there, when, once those, when those whiting move through, I mean, it's just, it's just going all the time. Uh, you can't keep up with it um, but good so that's one well we've got one two three species so uh, no sign of any squid yet um, no sign of any coddling yet uh, but a long long way a long good few hours to go whiting coming in here you notice I changed the position of the anchor a couple of reasons one to get the Sun out my eyes and the other is that the winds change direction and we've got a small tide today and the wind is stronger than the tide and it's just a, a better position got the tide running that way the breeze coming that way pushing the kayak this way easier from a fishing point of view to have the the anchor at the the anchor at the bow instead of the normal position of course when you're kayak fishing which is at the stern well that's better i've had a, i've had a run of tiny 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 whiting but at last got a decent one again
Well, it's gone really quiet now. We're, we're well, having said that, I've got a bite, bite on the, uh, the rod on the left here. Had plenty of white in. It was a case of working through these small ones um, to get to get the reasonable ones, but I've had a, but I've had a few decent white in. No luck with the squid rod, I'm afraid, and and uh, no more mackerel. So I'm pleased to get get uh, one or two mackerel early on, but there's no sign of them. But we'll keep trying. I've got about probably about three hours left of the session, so still plenty of time to get get another species. But it looks like we've got. Uh, yep. We got actually this 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 is a decent one, probably a decent whiting I would have thought. Yeah, this is this is the uh feels like the best one I've had for a for, for a while now. This is good, so maybe maybe they're coming they're coming back on the feed again. Now we're well into the flooding tide. Ah, nice it's a dogfish. Oh, first dogfish of the day. But at least it's another species. But we'll uh, we'll get this one back. I could do with a dogfish actually to uh, to take home, but that one's that one's too small, so we'll put it back. What I've decided to do is up the size of the bait now and see what we can see what we can pick up. I've got plenty of white in, um, so I'm going up the size of the bait. You never know; I might get lucky and pick up a bull hus or thornback ray or doesn't look like there's any coddling or coddling around but 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 you never know so and the other thing is if i if i fish a bigger bait maybe maybe it'll uh it'll seek out some some of the bigger bigger white in the only the only problem is when there's lots of those small white in down there of course you you can put a put a whole squid on like that and of course they'll come in and they'll just they'll just tear it to bits but but that's what we'll try for a while bigger baits and uh, see what it attracts. Well, it looked like up in the size of the bait worked. Uh, that's that's a nice whiting. Well, it's definitely picked up again now. And uh, yeah, putting the bigger bait on um, definitely seems to be a, attracting the bigger whiting.
And what have we got here? Well, actually, no. This is a good mackerel. That's a nice mackerel. That is a beauty. That's off the bottom. That is a nice mackerel. I thought I thought it was a I thought it was a, a decent sized white in, but uh, no, that's fantastic. That's going to taste absolutely brilliant. Just to let you know, just to let you know, if you don't mind, I had the camera running then when I was talking to you. Is that okay? I, I, I think we're, we're like, we'd like to see movie stars. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Watch it anyway, so you're okay. 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 Well, you, you, you're going to be on YouTube then. That's right. I thought I recognised your voice. Yeah, I you what's your What's your name again? Tim. That's right, we did. Yeah, that, yeah, I guess I remember. I was on Sunday off another part where you go near Lane Rock. Yes. And we went closer to Dublin, we had a few cod. Yeah, brilliant. One was a nice probably six, seven pounds. Yeah, brilliant. Best one I've had this year. Fantastic. But the, th the thing is, I always think for Cornwall, it's just so great to get cod, isn't it? Yeah. Because we're so used to catching pollock, more, more pollock. Yeah. When you get, I love it when we get a few cod. Yeah, and it's not like normal in a way, is it? It's not, it's not no. There sometimes and that's exactly. Good. It's always a bonus to catch a cod. Always. It? Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, I look forward to the beauty, look forward to seeing us on there. That's a lovely map. That's going to taste great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, you're fine. You're fine. I started putting on, um, I thought, try and filter out the bigger white in. I was just putting on some, some uh, black lug and some squid, it's tipping off with squid. I've had a few decent whiting, but I thought, right, for the last couple of hours, I'll put bigger baits on. And it and, it, and it's caught a couple of good whiting, and it's picked out that mackerel off, off the bottom. So is that mackerel bait, or just bigger squid bait? That I, all, I've, all I've put, I've got on was just a um, big, more or less a whole whole calamari squid. Right, yeah. And it's taken it. There's a mackerel on at the moment, but we're not getting much. You know, there's a few nice schooners. Yeah, well, they're lovely. Yeah. If, I mean, I've... Yeah, good. Right, I'll carry on now. Yeah, yeah, all the best. I've only got about an hour left of the session. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because to just to give it give, give it a real good try, is have another go with the with the other squid rod. Still got that squid rod rod working on the right hand side. I think I may be wrong. I think I had a I had a pull. And I missed it. Maybe wrong. It might be. It might be just a whiting that had a go at it. The bait rod on the left has has gone very very quiet now. Um, they seem to have gone right off the feed. The white the the whiting, and no sign of any more mackerel. So I'll go down and uh, manually work this rod with a couple of squid jigs on, just to see. Particularly as the the light will start to fade now, and I'm just hoping. Just hoping if I can just get one squid, just one squid, that that is going to really make the day. But if not, no problem. I've had a great day, and I've got a, I've got a good bag of fish to take home. Well, it's gone completely dead now, and the light's starting to go. And, and to be honest, it's getting really cold now. So I'm going to call it a day. Uh, up anchor and get in and 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 sort the fish out. So. Good mixed bag of fish, got the whiting, got some mackerel, got some scad, caught a dogfish. The only disappointment of the day was not being able to pick up a squid, but that's the way it goes. Hopefully I'll be able to pick up uh, pick up some squid another time. 
So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.